Hello and welcome back. It's Emily. So, today, I am going to try to replicate or do this sweatshirt that I saw online on Instagram. It's real cute and I would purchase it, but it unfortunately is $100. So, I don't have the money for that at this time um, and I thought it could be a fun thing to try to do myself. I already have a green sweatshirt that will work perfectly for this so that's covered and if you want to do this too you can do whatever color sweatshirt you want or you could do a shirt or you could do the letters on a bag. I'm getting ahead of myself. So basically I started by searching online for letter patches, but for some reason they're hard to find and kind of expensive. I did find some on Amazon, but they just didn't really look like the picture and they weren't really exactly what I wanted. So I decided to try to make my own. So I went to Joann's and I got some yellow upholstery fabric because it's a little bit thicker and more sturdy. I got a quarter yard of the fabric that I want to use and I'm going to be using white thread. Not really sure how this is going to go but I will let you know and maybe if everything goes well I can give you a little reveal at the end. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started. So here are my supplies. I have my sweatshirt, my white thread, my scissors, my tape measure, and my yellow fabric for the letters. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to measure the size of the front of my sweatshirt to see how big I want my letters to be. So I feel like I want the letters to go from here to here. So let's say I have 12 inches of space to use. The word that I'm doing is romance, which has seven letters, and I want there to be space in between. Oh my god, hold on, I gotta do some math. So for now, let's just call it one and a half inches per letter. That's much smaller than I was expecting. I'm going to try to print out my letters, but my printer is a little bit broken, so if it doesn't work, I'm going to draw them out. And I'm going to try to copy the font from the sweatshirt in the picture. So I went online and I googled fonts, and I found this website where you can type in the word that you want to use so you can see it in every font. So I was just looking through, and I found one that I liked, which I will link in the description, so you can use the same one if you want. But I find that it's easier if you use letters that are really bold and that have straight edges. So it's easier to sew, you don't have to do any curves. And then I just took screenshots of the letters. If you click on the font, it'll show you a whole grid with every letter. So I just screenshotted the letters that I wanted and I put it in Google Docs and cropped the images to be right at the edges of the letters and then resized them. And Google Docs give you guides so you can make them all the same height or width. So I just made them all the same size and then I printed it out and cut them out so I could trace them onto my fabric. Okay, so that took much longer than I was expecting, but I found a font, I printed it out, I cut it out and I laid it out just so I could see what this size would look like if and if I like the sizing of the letters and I think I do so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trace out or pin these letters I think I'm just gonna trace it out onto my yellow fabric and start the sewing so the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to space them out evenly and give myself enough room in between so that I can cut them into slices and then I'll sew around the edges and the insides of the letters. And I'm also doing this in two layers. So I have my fabric folded in half and as you can see, this is a quarter of a yard and it was more than enough. So if you wanted to do even less, it would be even more affordable. I think I paid less than $2 for this piece of fabric. So, I'm gonna go trace these on and get started. I'm gonna set my machine settings to a narrow zigzag stitch and the shortest stitch length that my machine will do. And I'm going to very slowly and carefully 
sew around the edges of the letters following the lines that I drew. You want to make sure you're going very, very slow with this because especially going around curves, depending on what letters you're doing, you want to make sure that the stitching around the letters is very thick and you don't really want gaps between the zigzags as much as you can do. I ended up going over the stitching one more time just to make it thicker and sturdier. So after you stitch around all your letters, you're going to cut them out. I recommend using fabric scissors or an X-Acto knife to get into the little corners and you want to cut as close to the edge of the stitching as you can without actually touching it because if you cut the thread, the whole thing could unravel, I think. Um, and obviously we don't want that. And one thing I don't like about this method is that the edges look a little bit raggedy. They fray a little bit. I think I'm going to sew them on with a straight stitch and I'm going to do this by hand. And you could do this with an iron-on patch. There's iron-on interfacing that you can use and you just iron your letters onto your sweatshirt. And this is something that I think would be easiest to do on a sewing machine. I feel like you could do it by hand if you really wanted to, but it would take a very long time and it would be very tedious. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to try that or not, but it'll be a lot faster and easier on a sewing machine. So I have my letters laid out and I did have to remove an embroidered logo off of the sweatshirt, which took forever. But once that was gone, um, I just laid out my letters the way that I wanted them to be, trying to match up to the original sweatshirt. And on the original one, they're really close together and there's a little bit of a curve in the word. So I tried to do that and it ended up being more straight than I wanted, but I'm just pinning them on. And then once I have them pinned, I'm gonna start hand sewing them with a back stitch. Hey, I'm back. So it's a week later and I finally finished my sweatshirt. This is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. Sorry about the creaky stairs. Um, honestly, it took a lot longer than I was expecting and I did end up sewing the letters on by hand, but I don't recommend that you do that because it honestly took me about an hour to do each letter. And so I think it'd be so much easier if you just did iron-on interfacing or something like that instead. Hopefully this was fun for you to watch and um, I think you should definitely try to do it yourself. It's not too difficult, especially if you have your own sewing machine. I think it could be a really fun thing to try. Um, and it's completely customizable. You can do whatever words you want, whatever colors you want. You can put it on whatever you want. Um, so, you know, overall, pretty pretty cool I'd say. Thanks so much for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Okay love you bye! So I'm filming this in front of my front door and I just heard a buzzing noise and I looked up. Are you seeing this? I, like I don't even know what to do.